My interest started when I saw an expression of interest in, in the paper um, and I was really taken by the fact that it was the vital part of the work was going to be community consultation rather than making um, decisions and then actually asking the people later what they would have liked. So this is the first time I can remember that being the first point of call that people in the community will be able to say what the issues are and how they think they might be solved. We've got people that um, are work, work in journalism, we've got people that work in law, people that work in universities, but we also have volunteers that sit on health um, committees. It's vital that the community is part of the decision making uh, in health and uh, we've got our ears open and we're going to listen to the community and pass on their concerns. Each clinical council uh, for the Adelaide PHN will bring a wide spectrum of clinical expertise and advice to the primary health care network. Um, the plan is that there will be a range of uh, allied health professionals, GPs, specialists, uh, hospital management um, expertise, uh, etc. that uh, will provide advice and guidance to the PHN in terms of moving forward. Each clinical council will provide regional priorities in through to the PHN, which will then go through its prioritisation process. So in effect, the clinical councils will have a chance to shape the future direction of the PHN. The primary healthcare sector is so critical and crucial to keeping people well, keeping people out of hospital um, and supporting people with chronic disease in particular. So if the PHN can actually achieve that with the advice of clinicians and consumers, I think that'll be a remarkable thing and something really exciting. My work with APHN is as an educational consultant and I actually go into schools and assist teachers to develop their knowledge of dyslexia and to look at their teaching. The health priority groups have been really great. Um, the Participants have really enjoyed um, networking with other professionals. The priority groups that I've been involved with have consisted of preschool staff, childcare staff, school staff, council representatives, local GPs, people that wouldn't normally get together. We've had a, a really strong group um, that felt that it was really important to meet face to face because we could have lots of talking after the meeting as well to do a lot of networking. Adelaide PHN has been great. Um, the schools have found that it's been really terrific being supported um, by an agency to do with health and think it's wonderful that health are interested in education. Each time I've been involved in, in speaking to them, there is always the, the emphasis on um, hearing what the community has to say, hearing what the clinical people have to say, and then making decisions. We all have such an important role to play and primary health care is really critical, as I said, to keeping people well and happy and healthy and out of hospital for as long as possible. Mm -hmm.